Hi, Andrew Basick here from Harmony Music Center. And in this video series, I'm going to talk to you about beginning to learn guitar and get you started with some basic skills. So maybe you've been meaning to play guitar for years and years. Maybe you have a guitar gathering dust somewhere in your house and you've been thinking about getting started, but you're not really sure where to start. Should you take lessons? Should you go on YouTube and try to figure it out? Um, should you work with a friend that plays? Um, well, I wish I could say that learning to play guitar was a simple, easy thing that within a handful of hours you could really be on your way. But truth be told, it's a challenging instrument and takes some time and persistence to learn. And so it's really important to have a good avenue to get started with. So to start out with, um, get your guitar and let's go over a few basics. Um, first of all, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to tune your guitar. And um, one of the easiest ways to do that is to download the app um, for any smartphone called Guitar Tuna. Um, tuna like the fish, T-U-N-A. And that's a really good, easy way to tune guitars. Um, people used to tune by ear, and that in the digital age is pretty much a thing of the past. And now almost all of us have these digital tuners. You can buy them inexpensively at any music store for about $12 to $15. But Guitar Tuna is a free app, and you can get that, and it's really quite good. Um, and so then you're going to want to get your guitar tuned up and um, then so I'd like to show you some basic things. Um, first of all, it's really important to learn the names of the strings, um, starting with the thickest string here um, closest to your head. Um, this is E. And then the fifth string, we call this the sixth string, the one closest to our head. The fifth string is A. The fourth string is D. The third string is G. The second string is B. And the first string is E. And it's actually a good idea to write that down and work on memorizing that over time. And over this series, I'm going to give you some basic skills and um, we'll work on some simple chords and get you going. And toward the end of the series, we'll even work on a song or two that's a simple song that you can learn to play. We'll do the song Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. So, um, let me show you two simple beginning chords. And the first one is a C chord. And so what you're going to do is you are going to take your index finger on your left hand and you are going to fret your second string, the B string, at the first fret. These are the frets, these um, metal bars that, um, that go up and down the neck here. Um, and when we say fret at the first fret, here's the first fret, and you're going to press down behind that. Um, if I went to the third fret, I would go here. One, two, three, and I'm going to press down behind that. And so here for the C chord, we're going to use our index finger, and we're going to press down um, behind the first fret of the second string. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press down pretty much on the tip of your finger. I don't know if you can see that, but the tip. And um, in the beginning, as you begin to play and you practice for a little while, your fingers will get sore. But as you work on this for a while, you'll develop calluses and the tips of your fingers get harder. Um, and then it doesn't hurt anymore when you play, and also it's a firmer surface to work with. And so that takes some time, and just be patient with it. Um, there's a little bit of discomfort. The other thing that's really important 
a lot of beginners, especially women, come in and they have longer fingernails. And if you can see my fingernails, they're cut really short, even below the tips of the fingers. You don't have to go to that extreme, but um, you want to have really pretty short fingernails. Um, and then you're going to want to um, you're going to want to hold the neck of the guitar kind of like this for this chord, and you're going to want to hook your index finger around, coming kind of straight down onto the string, and then you're going to want to play the the bottom three strings, the first, second, and third strings. And for this video, I'm just using on my right hand, I'm just using my thumb to play that. In some later videos, I'll talk about picks and um, how to use those. So that's a C chord. And then um, I'm also going to show you a G chord. And with a G chord, you're going to use your third finger, your ring finger, and you were going to hold the neck the same way. Then you're going to curve and loop that third finger around and press it down behind the third fret of the first string. Excuse me, first string. And then you're going to again play just the bottom three strings. And so what you can do with these two chords as a beginning point is just to shift back and forth between them and count a four count. So we'll do with the C chord. One, two, three, four, and then shift to a G chord. One, two, three, four. Going back and forth. So that's a very good basic starting point. Um, and I also want to tell you a little bit about Harmony Music Center, and then we'll wrap this up. And in a short time, I'll send you a second video with um, continuing to work on some basic skills. So Harmony Music Center began in 2015, and it is a community music center where we have classes. We teach guitar classes, beginning and intermediate. And we also have musical groups and jams. Um, one of the latest things that we did, we had a Labor Day Beatles bash where we got um, about 15 people together and played lots and lots of great Beatles songs. And um, the goal at Harmony Music Center is really to bring people together and inspire people to find their creativity and play music. And we create a very non-intimidating, down-to-earth, friendly, warm group where everyone is welcome. And um, we love having people of all different levels, from complete beginners up to more advanced players. So that's a little bit. And let me tell, let me read you a testimonial from one of our students. This is Michael from Ventura, and he says, I've owned a guitar for much of my life, but never gave it the attention it deserved or required to learn to play. Now, approaching retirement age, I have more time on my hands and no excuse for not pursuing my dream of playing and singing my favorite songs, and some of my own. Where to start? A friend suggested I check out Ventura meetups, and in a serendipitous moment, I found Andrew Bassick and Harmony Music Center. But I was worried I was too old to learn, or worse, being my own worst critic, be easily discouraged if I couldn't keep up with the lessons. All fears were unfounded as Andrew gears the program to the student's ability and progress. He teaches with such patience and genuine love for what he does, you want to practice and improve just to thank him. No stress, no competition. Students enter the class at various levels of proficiency and goals, and the program caters to us all. I look forward to each new class, not only for the lesson, but for the camaraderie as well. The same for the Sunday Jam Sessions, a safe, non-competitive get-together where anyone can join in for an afternoon of playing and singing our favorite songs. I cannot say enough for what Andrew has created, a fun and educated class, fun and educational class for everyone, novice or advanced beginner, to learn or improve their guitar skills, plus spend a few hours a week in a wonderful group of people. If you are thinking of learning to play guitar, this is the place to go. 
So I just want to encourage you really to get started on your journey of playing guitar, whether you take classes at Harmony Music Center or not. Um, either way, that's fine. But um, get started, and we'll talk about a number of different avenues in the videos to come. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.